Hello, my name is Maris and today we'll be looking at the exact iDip Smart Brew Kit. Open the kit at the top like this. Open the cover. Inside you have instruction manual, uh, one iDip, cleaning brush for the cell, and then six reagents. Sulfate, pH, alkalinity, calcium hardness, total hardness, and chloride. When you do all these six tests, you also get the residual alkalinity, uh, sodium, and magnesium hardness calculated in the app for free. The iDip comes with a built-in plastic cell that you never have to take out and you never have to worry about losing it. Use the brush to clean the cell before and after the test session, just like this. Make sure the cell is clean at all times to have the best performance. At the, at the bottom of the iDip you have a cap. You can use this cap for zeroing and reading the results to avoid uh, light interference. You can also use this as a mixing cap when mixing the sample for different tests uh, where uh, you need to use uh, a powder or a liquid. At the bottom of the IDP you also have the battery chamber. Take a screwdriver and unscrew the little screw here. The IDIP comes without batteries installed, so when you, when you uh, buy it, you need to go to the store and get standard AAA batteries. With re remove the cap. You also have a small schematic there to show you how to put the batteries inside. One, two, three, and four. When replacing this cap, hold it down like this, put the screw in, in, and screw it in. Don't over tighten the screw, only make it snug, that's all you need to do. There is an o-ring for this as well, so it makes it waterproof, just like that. In order to use the exact iDip, you need to download the app. Let's open the App Store, hit the search bar, type in exact iDip or just iDip. iDip. Hit search. If the app is not seen, you can choose the filter to show iPhone apps as well, then the iDip app is shown. Hit download, done. Now you can start using the app. Before we start the app, let's make sure the Bluetooth is switched on on the uh, smart device. We need Bluetooth in order to uh, connect the app with the uh, photometer. Bluetooth is on, so we're good to go. Let's hit the uh, iDip app. It uh, says about the end user license agreement that we'll see in a second. It has a welcome screen. You can scroll and see the different features and how to use the app. When you're happy with that, you can hit close at the top. You will be uh, then shown the ex exact iDip end user license agreement that you can read right here. Once you've read it, please hit accept if you're ready to start using the app. Then you're directed to the uh, exact iDip home screen. This is the home screen of the app. When you first open the app, I would suggest you go into settings. It asks you to confirm location settings and hit allow. This will be able to um, use GPS coordinates for your test results. Uh, there's a timeout timer as well that you can set to higher or lower. If you're just starting to use the app, 
I would suggest to uh, increase the timeout to a larger number. This timeout will determine how many minutes before the app tells the iDip to shut off. So if you're just starting and you're learning and reading all the instructions, it's better to have the iDip on for longer uh, in between tests. Then we can go back to the home screen. Let's set up a customer. Let's hit customers. It again asks to access the contacts of your uh, device. The app, iDip app will not store the contacts directly in the app. So it needs access to your contacts. When you hit OK, you can choose directly to add customers from your contacts or add a new contact through the app. We will just choose test. You can do uh, whatever name you like. Okay, done. One customer is now set up. In order to use the exact IDIP smart photometer, you will need an algorithm for each test. Four algorithms come pre-installed free in the app. Those are free chlorine, combined chlorine, pH, and total alkalinity. If you would like to do any additional tests, you will need to go to the store and buy them. Hit store, and you can see all the available algorithms there. They will be updated as we develop new algorithms and they will be available for everybody to be purchased. Each algorithm is around 5 euros and once you buy it, they will be yours forever and you can do as many tests as you want. Same applies if you have for one account, for one Apple account if you have multiple devices, let's say an iPad and an iPhone. You can go to the other device and hit buy again and you will not be charged for those algorithms that you've already purchased once. If you break or smash or lose your phone, uh, you, provided you have the same Apple account, you can redeem all your purchases for free and you will not have to pay again. Please pay attention to uh, the different kinds of algorithms. There are two kinds of algorithms. Regular IDIP algorithms that are for your device and there are also exact IDIP 570 algorithms that are for the exact IDIP 570. Exact IDIP 570 is a different kind of unit so unless you have uh, I did 570, don't get these algorithms, only get the standard algorithms. For the exact I did Smart Brew Kit, we recommend you to get the Smart Brew Bundle that costs $18.99. If you tap the bundle, it will show you what kind of tests you have. And they will have all the algorithms for the test that you've just purchased in your kit. Just hit buy and you will have all those algorithms. Now that you have unlocked the beer bundle, we can proceed to actual testing. First, we select the customer. We've already created the customer and it's called test. So we uh, select the test customer. Then we select the menu and proceed to the Bluetooth test. We get the iDip and turn it on. Then we tap to connect it. We can see our 15 minute timer, timeout has been selected and the synchronization has been successful. You can also notice the Bluetooth symbol in the corner there. That means the iDip is successfully connected. Then we take the iDip and the brush we get some water in the cell, brush it out like this to make sure it's clean. Then we rinse the cell three times with the water you will be testing with. Finally, we fill it up to the top. Then we select the test from the app. 
what we're going to do, total alkalinity test. We select total alkalinity. It shows AL on the screen here. And we also get the appropriate reagent marked AL as well. We place the cap over the cell, press zero. It's showing zero now, now it's ready for the test. We take one reagent strip out. One reagent is one test. We press read, it gives you a 20 second countdown timer. And during this time, we move the strip back and forth like this. It is important to move the strip back and forth as it releases the uh, appropriate amount of reagent in the cell. Wait for the timer to end. Place the cap over it, and we'll see a result on the screen. After that, we can dump the water, rinse the cell again three times, clean the brush. Rinse the cap, and we're ready for the next test. The next test will be doing the pH test. So we select the test, select pH. You can see pH, pH on the screen there. PH. We will cover the cell again. Press zero, showing zero on the screen. We get the pH. Reagent, take one strip out. Press read. It again gives you a 20 second countdown timer, and then this time we just move the strip back and forth. All the procedures in the um, in this kit are the same. 20 second. After the timer is up, we cover the cell again and wait for the result to be shown. After we're done, we dump it again, we clean the cell with a brush. And continue. To the remaining tests. Now that we've done all six tests, we can go to the temporary temporary results page by hitting the results button. As you can see, three results are being calculated automatically. So we did alkalinity, pH, calcium, total hardness, chloride, and sulfate out of our uh, smart brew kit, and then we got magnesium calculated. We got residual alkalinity calculated automatically and also sodium calculated automatically. Um, in order to save these results, it's important to uh, choose a site as well. So we're going to choose site and then we've added a test site here. You can add a new test site, uh, add an, any new site here at the top. We're going to choose test site and then we're going to hit save. Once we hit save, uh, the app will add a timestamp and also a GPS stamp. And I would strongly recommend to always save the results as a whole test session like this. We hit save. And they go into the history now. Now I would like to show you uh, some of the features um, that are available in the app in more detail. One of the core features of this app is the history. When you hit history, it shows the, all the test results that you've done uh, today and before uh, in your app. You can see all the tests that we've done today and before. If you would like to send, you can email them to yourself or to your customers by hitting select and either email all or selecting the various tests that you would like to do. Then select email. 
it composes an email with a customer name and the test site and everything, all the results that we just did with date and time. Uh, also at the bottom of the email it creates a CSV file which if you send it to your, uh, your computer you can then export as an Excel spreadsheet and also create charts, graphs, logs and so forth. We're not going to do this but uh, that's one of the features. One also one feature that I would like to mention is the map feature. When you hit map it shows you the GPS location of the test that we've done. You can see that we've done 38 tests here and um, you can see uh, if they're spread around where the tests were being saved. Then um, I would also like to mention the profile. The profile is uh, for different testing results you can choose preferred units of measure. So if you hit preferred units of measure here you can say for example alkalinity you can choose as ppm as calcium carbonate or as DKH or other um, means of measuring, for example, bicarbonate by hitting OK. Now every time you're going to be doing the test you will, sh you will see this um, your preferred unit of measure in the app. Same goes for calcium, you can choose different uh, you know, grades per gallon or DGH degrees or only PPM as calcium and so forth. Every test that you, you, can, you have done or downloaded, you can choose um, the way of preferred units of measure. You can see also the other options and, and features uh, in the app. One thing I would also like to mention is the instructions. If you hit the instructions, if you forgot how to do a test, you can scroll down and, and find your test that you want to see. For example, cyanuric acid. We hit cyanuric acid and you can choose either instructions as a PDF or a video to, um, to refresh your memory how to do that particular test. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel where you can find more demos, tutorials, and other useful videos. In the description below, you can find more useful information relating to this video.